little kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. You have just tuned in to the Mag Nerd Podcast. Your home for everything in music, anime, and gaming. What is up, guys? Showing up the king here, back with another toy news video. And today, man, oh man, and oh man, I have the juice. I have the drip. I have the leaks. Everything. Lots of toy news this week, guys. I can't wait to get into it. Before we do that, let's get the shameless plugs out of the way. Make sure you're following the Magnet Podcast on Instagram. Make sure you're following the Magnet Podcast on Facebook. And make sure you're checking out the Magnet Podcast episode on Lisbon. Uh, links are as you see on the front of the screen. I will be recording a new podcast episode this week. So look out for that. And without further ado, let's get into this toy news. And first thing I want to start off with is the new Gundam Metal build they announced this week. It is known as the Gundam Astray Gold Frame Amatsu Hana. Now, full disclosure, I have never seen this frame before. Um, it looks pretty cool. But again, it is about $260. And it is already scheduled for release for October of 2020, and it is on pre-order. And if I'm not mistaken, the Amatsu Han is from the manga Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Stray, Princess of the Sky. Uh, also announced this week, we have the new Samurai Showdown from Storm Collectibles, and this is a Hamaru. And again, just I wanted to talk about this one real quick just because I have always been a huge fan of Samurai Showdown ever since I was very little. I used to play it in the arcades all the time. Samurai Showdown 1, Samurai Showdown 2. There's been a lot of iterations of this game. And again, this figure looks great. Storm Collectibles always does a great job with their lines. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to pick this one up just because I don't really have the money to invest in another line. That's why I haven't actually started collecting Storm Collectible Street Fighter figures because I know once I dip my toe in that water, I'm going to have to get everything and I just do not have the money for that. But I will say that once Storm Collectibles reveals the Darkstalkers line, I will definitely be getting into that. And I'll be definitely looking out for that John Talbane wolf figure because I really want that. All right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of this toy news. So, all right. So, SH Figure Arts has revealed their information on their KT, uh, KT-11 from The Mandalorian. And it looks absolutely amazing. I have already pre-ordered The Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. As I had mentioned in my last uh, toy, toy news video that I just did. Um, again, this figure looks absolutely amazing. It comes with the weathered metal. As you can see here, it looks like they accurately reached out and got every little detail from the show and as you can see all the different points of articulation on this figure are there the arms the waist the neck and even the head um, i don't have a picture of the head but it also shows that the head will move in all different directions in a 360 spin kind of thing so again i am super excited about this one they even have the bomb as you can see here where he's always threatening to explode Again, this thing is incredible. And for the final picture here, you see, and this is the this is the scene that I'm looking forward to uh, creating is when KT decides to be nursemaid to Baby Yoda. And it looks like that uh, he will either come with the bag or the Baby Yoda will come with the bag. If I'm not mistaken, I think the Baby Yoda comes with the bag. So uh, this is now available for pre-order. So definitely get your butts online and pick this one up. And I do believe it will be releasing this year. All right, also from SH Figure Arts, again, like I said, guys, they announced a lot of stuff today. They announced a uh, Iron Man, I guess, uh, armor number one. Uh, this is the armor that he made when he was kidnapped and he uh, created it with the doctor. And again, as you see, they, again, SH Figure Arts took painstaking details in this action figure. And again, it just looks absolutely amazing is again just the the different pieces how you can see the metal on the inside again the arc reactor as you can see here on the front it just looks absolutely amazing and it does come with a flamethrower for both arms as you can see here and again it also comes with a flight stand it also comes with a flight stand for the uh, actual figure itself um 
if I can get to that picture, I think I might have messed it up. Oh, there it is. So yeah, so it comes with uh, the flight stand for when he actually takes flight. And again, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Now, the thing about it is, is again, just like I said with Storm Collectibles, I don't own every armor in the Iron Man, the Hall of Armor. So I really want this, but again, I'm very tempted. So if I did decide to get this, it might open the floodgates for me to go back and then have to try to find all the other armors to try to create the Hall of Armors. And I'm not really sure if I'm ready to do that yet. So again, this is also now available for pre-order and it will be releasing this year. All right, so we're gonna jump and talk about the Mandalorian again. Uh, but this time we're not talking about it from SH Figure Arts. We're actually talking about it from uh, Hasbro and the Black Series. So the Black Series has just announced, and again, their fan first Friday is gonna be tomorrow, and this is actually leaked. So they, they did end up releasing product stills for the new um, set of uh, Star Wars figures from the Black Series. Now, right now, I'm only talking about the Mandalorian because again, like I said in last week's video, uh, I am not a huge collector of Star Wars toys. I am interested in certain characters, and if I like them, I will get them. And again, I am very, very interested in The Mandalorian, so that's why I stick with The Mandalorian. Uh, as you can see here with the box art, they are doing new box art for the Black Series. And as you can see for yourself, that this Mandalorian will have his jetpack as well as his blaster and his long gun. Uh, again, the figure looks amazing in this Baskar armor. I already have the um, original Mandalorian, and I am still looking to get the um, other um, Mandalorian. I do have the Baby Yoda from the Black Series, and I have the Mandalorian from the Black Series. Now I just need to get the KT from the Black Series, and then I'll have my Mandalorian set in SH Figure Arts as well as the Black Series. So as you can see here, again, it looks amazing, and uh, you can now pre-order this on Big Bad Toy Store. I saw it on Entertainment Earth. I did not see it on Amazon yet, but it might have already sold out. But uh, it's still available for pre-order right now, and I believe it will be releasing in September or October. All right. So, back to SH Figure Arts. Now, Wonder Woman. Whoo! Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. So, Wonder Woman... Is, is a special thing. So I, I, I'm just now starting to get my DC collection together. I'm starting to collect uh, DC figures. I have the Storm Collectibles Bane. I have the uh, DC uh, Universe Black Manta, as well as the uh, Jason Momoa Aquaman. But I don't have the cornerstone pieces to my DC uh, Universe line. Like, I don't have a, a Ben Affleck Batman. I don't have a... a uh, Superman from Henry Cavill, but again, I am definitely interested in this Wonder Woman, and as you can see, her her look is amazing, the face sculpt, and again, I don't know how if this is going to be the final product, but if it is, then cheers to SH Figure Arts, because they nailed her face perfectly. Uh, the one thing that I will say about this Wonder Woman that kind of has me a little skeptical is that she doesn't come with a sword, she doesn't come with a shield, she doesn't come with any effects other than two types of rope. Looks like she has a rope like she's going to lasso something, and then it also looks like she has it like a standard rope that goes around her waist. And again, for an SH figure arts that's going to cost you between $60 and $70 before shipping, uh, that might be a, a, a tough pill for me to swallow especially when we look at the next Wonder Woman that we got information on. And here it is. So this is the Mezco 112 Wonder Woman. Goddamn. I mean, I pre-ordered this thing so fast, my wallet was burning. Like, look at this thing, guys. Like, this is what a Wonder Woman should look like, straight up. She comes with the 300 style cape over her shoulder. She comes with a battle axe. She comes with full armor. She comes with a spear. She comes with a lasso that goes around her waist as well as a lasso that is bendable. I mean, she comes with a sword. She comes with a shield. Uh, she comes with effects to block bullets on her gauntlets. I mean, guys, you have to get this. You have to get this. Look at this. Look at this. And she comes with an, an alternate head with a grimacing face. I mean, it's it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. I am, like I said, 
this will if if I get all three, it'll, and I have to do a versus video. I haven't decided. I haven't pulled a trigger on the SH Figure Arts one yet, but they're both on pre-order available right now. But just know that the uh, Mezco one does have a deposit, no matter where you get it. I got mine from Big Bad Toy Store, and they require like an eight dollar and fifty cent deposit. Uh, but you can also get it on multiple retailers uh, right now. Again, this thing is amazing. I am looking forward to doing a review because the amazing Yamaguchi Wonder Woman also looks equally as good. It comes with about the same amount of uh, weapons, except no armor, and the armor itself doesn't. Uh, the weapons don't have the same details in Mezco. Uh, but again, I will be getting. I'm definitely getting the amazing Yamaguchi Wonder Woman, and I'm definitely picking this one up. And everything that I've talked about is available for pre-order right now. So. That is going to do it for, for this week's uh, Toy News. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to all my social media. Again, I am doing a contest. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll be doing an action figure giveaway. Uh, stay tuned because I will be recording a new uh, podcast episode this week. So stay tuned for that. Uh, this is Showing Up the King, and I appreciate you guys. Have a good one.